Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna Louise and today's video is one that it has actually been quite requested. Um, I've had quite a few people ask me for this video and so I thought I would do it. Um, and I do have a lot of people actually ask me how to cure this. So I figured I have a lot of people ask me for advice and a lot of people who asked me to film this so I thought why not because I figure it would help a lot of people um, so if you couldn't already tell by the title of this video I'm going to be talking to you guys about velvet and betta fish and how to treat it so if you want to learn more about that then just stick around and let's get into the video okay so before we begin with talking about treatment you may be asking what is velvet like you may not know what it is and you may not have experienced it or maybe you have and you just don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what that is. Basically, velvet is a disease that bettas can get and it kind of looks like pollen. So if it is the springtime and stuff like that and you see all the little bitty yellow, like little fuzzy things, it get all, gets all over your car and it gets all over a lot of things that are white and it looks like yellow dust basically and it can really bother your allergies. That is pollen and it kind of works for kind of like for bettas like it does for humans. It makes you sick. Pollen gets your allergies going. It makes your nose stuffy and all that jazz and it's kind of the, th the same for bettas. Um, it makes them sick as well. So obviously it's not pollen but it is velvet and they just kind of look the same. So basically if you look at your betta fish um, and it has that yellow dusting like powder on it that looks like pollen then that is velvet um, and one way that you can actually look to see on your betta if it does have velvet or not is to shine a flashlight and if you shine that light up close to them you can see the dustings of yellow over them quite a lot easier um, and velvet is actually kind of like it is a parasite so it is this little parasite that is actually on your fish and that's basically what you treat it for and yeah so it is definitely not fun it makes your fish very lethargic and tired and it can clamp up their fins and make them really sick and not feel good they can stop eating and stuff like that as well so now that you actually know what velvet is and you can know how to identify it now let's talk about treatment so i have actually not ever dealt with velvet up until very recently i had heard about it a lot but it was something that i had never dealt with and i was obviously very glad not to have dealt with it but unfortunately it came knocking at my door letting itself in to two of my fish recently and i was really worried about it i hated it my fish's fins clamped up and they like to rub themselves and lay on their decor their plants a little bit more than normal like you may say oh my better rests on my plant well yes bettas do like to rest but with velvet they will kind of rub up against it like if they were itchy basically um and so i noticed those things but without like a bright light i was like eh, like i really don't know what this is so then i shined my phone flashlight actually um on my fish and then i saw that yellow polleny looking stuff and i knew it was velvet which really sucked um so i basically went and did quite a bit of research and i asked quite a bit of people that i trust um and just quick disclaimer obviously there are more ways to treat velvet than just what i'm telling you but this is what i did and it successfully worked and this is just how i did it there are other ways to do it so this is just my way um but of course i did ask other people and i did my research and um i learned some things about it such as velvet can actually spread and get worse with the light on so if your fish does have have velvet like if you notice it then turn off their tank light because it can spread from the light being on um so that's one thing that i did i made sure that my aquarium lights were off 
and I was looking for a really good medicine. So there are a few different types of medicines. One that can be carbon based. I did not go for one of those. Um, only because the carbon can actually be toxic to snails if you have them in your tank. Um, so you would have to remove them and just kind of some stuff like that. So I was like, well, hmm, like what other kind of medicine can I go for? So whenever I was looking and had talked to a few people, I found a medicine that is called Malachite. I think I'm pronouncing it right, green. And this is what it looks like. So like I said, this is what it looks like. It is by the brand Cordon. It says, trusted solution since 1961, Malachite Green Fish Disease Control Treatment for Fresh and Salt Water. Controls fish diseases caused by fungus, external parasites, and protozoans. So, my cat just jumped on the bed. Okay, y'all can't see her, never mind. Okay, so this is the medication, and then on the back it has the directions. So it says, the use of Malachite Green is primarily for the control of diseases caused by fungus, and external parasites on fishes, including those caused by such protozoan parasites such as ick, um, cryptocarion, costia, chilodonella, ambifry. Okay, all these really long words that just it don't matter. <laughs> anyway, so it says the standard dosage dosage is 10 drops per gallon or one teaspoon per 10 gallons of water. So basically, that's the direction. Super simple. Um, and I actually ordered this on Amazon for I believe around eight dollars and something cents, something like maybe eight seventy-five. I will leave the correct price right here. And I was just really hoping that it would work well. Like I said, I heard it was a really good medicine. So the medicine came in the mail for my two fish that needed it, and I just took the medicine over there and did the ten drops. It's super super easy to do. Um, let's see. I think it has. Ooh, no, it doesn't. Okay. So I did the 10 drops um, and it is blue so it will turn your water blue but that's okay because the wet medicine is blue. So I'm assuming it probably has methylene blue in it anyway which is good for your fish. Um, it's supposed to help them with like stress and stuff. But anyway, it turns your water blue, which it's supposed to do, so that's okay. It's totally fine if your water does look blue. And yeah, so that's what I did. I waited overnight and literally this, and I mean this like, Whenever I woke up the next day and went through the day and went in to check on them, I don't really know exactly what time during the day it was, but I had went in to check on both of the fish and that nasty yellow pollen-like color had went away. And I was so stoked and so excited because obviously like I had hoped that the medicine would work, but I didn't know how long it would take um, because like I said, I had never dealt with the velvet before, but this medicine literally took it right away um and Pooh was actually one of the ones to get this um disease and he immediately like he started to get so much better uh obviously the coloring went away the first day but then the second day like his fins opened up a lot more and they never really did get really clamped but they were a little bit but he started to show so much more signs of life and was just a lot happier not rubbing up on things anymore and his fins were all back to normal and now he's happy and healthier than ever same with my other fish Rupert that got it um in my 10 gallon and he and Pooh both are all better and it literally took about a day and so that's why I definitely recommend this uh like I said I have a lot of people who ask me on how I treat velvet and like I said, this is my way. There are other ways, but this is the one that I have found to work. And so I wanted to obviously tell you guys about it. This is what I recommend to people all the time because it works well. And also one other thing that you can do when you're treating your fish, which I did along with that medicine, is add aquarium salt. And if you know me, you guys know I love aquarium salt. I think it's good. Like. I always use it and I always recommend it. It helps and does good for your fish as well. So I definitely recommend adding some aquarium salt in. And with those two things, you should be good to go. And yeah, so that's honestly pretty much it. I really hope that this helped you guys. I hope that you learned something today. If you've never had to deal with this, then that's great. But at least now you know what it is and can be aware just in case your fish actually ever gets it. And yeah, so that is it for this video. Add me on Snapchat at it's Anna Louise 20 where you can see updates of me, my fish, and other animals. 
And also, I have a P.O. box now for if you want to send me anything. I've had people ask about that, so I actually got one. And I'm going to leave the address right here and in the description box. I do open everything that I get on camera, so if you want to, you don't have to, but it is an option if you want. Um, and other than that, I also have merch out that I really, really love, so definitely go check that out. I'll leave the address to that right here. It'll also be in the description box and the end screen. And that's pretty much it. So please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe, which you can do by hitting my face right up here. And please also hit the little bell notification to be updated every time I upload a new video. And then you can also watch another of my videos by clicking right here, which would mean the world to me if you would do so. And I hope you have a great day or night or whatever you may be watching this. And I'll see you guys in my next video.